You're listening to Chamber Chat on Chamber Channel 3. Chamber Chat is brought to you in part by Mansmith Pharmacy, where your care is our only concern. This is Chamber Chat brought to you by Mansmith Pharmacy, and I'm Deb Height. Today we're visiting with Dr. Crow Rodney of the Palo Alto County Health Systems Family Practice Clinic. Welcome, Dr. Crow Rodney. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Crow Rodney, welcome to Emmitsburg. It's nice to have you. Thank you. It's nice to be here as well. So you're a new doctor on the facilities here. Yes. And when did you just get started? I started July 2nd at the Family Practice Clinic here in Emmitsburg. Okay. And you said you are a um, family practice doctor with obstetrics uh, specialty? Yes. Um, I practice there. I do family practice and obstetrics, and so far it's been going pretty well. I hear they're already got you running with your tennis <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> anyway, well, welcome to Emmitsburg. I know you've uh, built a new home and have decided that Emmitsburg is a community for you. Yes, so far so good. Great. Well, we're glad to have you. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about, or you want to talk any more mm -hmm. about yourself or your connection oh. to Ghana or anything like that? Okay. I was originally born in Ghana, West Africa, and my parents moved over to Barbados, one of the islands in the West Indies, in the Caribbean. And that's where I did most of my schooling, inclusive of medical school. I subsequently got married to my husband, Shaka Rodney, who is originally from Guyana, and he does, has multiple business ventures going on in Barbados. And, he's, and we relocated to Rockford, Illinois, for my residency program where I did family practice um, with a specialty in obstetrics and C-sections. So now I'm in Emmitsburg. And you're in Emmitsburg. So how did you come yeah. to find about or hear about Emmitsburg from Rockford, Illinois? Um, there were multiple recruiters for Midwest opportunities following graduation from um, family medicine. And with a start in a place like Rockford, Illinois, I grew to like the Midwest. So. When I did interview at Palo Alto, people were exceptionally friendly. Uh, it was a welcome, an unusual welcome. So as soon as we finished our interview, my husband was, and I both um, jointly said, this is it. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's nice. Well, we, we're um, glad that you find Emmitsburg the place that you want to be. Um, it is a small community. I'm sure you have plenty of opportunities, but you're right. We're friendly here. We very friendly. <laughs> Uh, and we're glad to have you in the area. It's a very family community, and it's awesome. Great. Glad yeah. to have you. Um, and see. so far, you know, in my practice, the patients are, you know, very receptive, and, you know, I'm just trying my best to give them the best medical care possible at the family practice clinic. So it's been great. Wonderful. Um, also, I see you're bringing something special to Emmitsburg. Yes, we have the Blema Dance company coming out of London, UK. Um, they're originally from Ghana, West Africa. And um, along with my husband, Shaka Rodney, hi Shaka, and I, we partnered with the Palo Alto Gaming Development Corporation and the Palo Alto County Arts Council. And we brought this dance group to just bring something new, fresh, and original to the community. So. We're very excited about it, and they're all geared up and ready to go. Well, it sounds it's very exciting. I know um, you have a special interest in the arts, and that was what um, uh, precipitated this visit and your interest in bringing this group to Emmitsburg. Uh, why don't you tell us about the dates and the times and where it's going to be? Okay. So the, we're going to have three different shows. We'll have one on Friday, August 10th. Then we'll have another one on Saturday, August 11th, which will be a matinee. That will be around 10 in the morning. And um, Sunday evening around 7 p.m. So just come along and enjoy whichever day is convenient for you. Okay. It sounds like it's a time schedule that fits everybody. Um, the, is there a, an admission uh, fee? Admission is $5. Um, ordinarily, this kind of show would be for like $20. But we just want to do this as a charity to the community. So proceeds are going mainly to any of the charitable um, programs within the county. 
a little special yeah. emphasis on music programs, maybe? Um, some? It's a variety, but yes, some music programs, definitely. And um, other associations are also on board. But well, we haven't really talked about the Blemick Group, so why don't you tell us um, about what they do? Are they musical? Are they theater? Um, tell us about um, that group. They're dance and musical. They use um, typical African instruments, the African drums, and they dance along with the drumming. Mm -hmm. In addition, we have some acrobat performances where we have some fire eating and um, stilt walking and a variety of things that are pretty different. Sounds very interesting, and, uh, and according to your poster, it looks like very colorful costume. Yes, they, um, they actually were in the traditional wear for Ghana, West Africa. It's called kente cloth. So these, this multicolored, um, out, these multicolored outfits are actually hand-woven. Really? So all the different colors you see are actually hand-woven, and the, the name is called kente, K-E-N-T-E. -E. Yeah. Oh, kente. Well, I would have a special attraction to fabrics, so that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how many people will be with the company? Um, we'll have seven to eight people with the company. What venue? Where will we be going to for this? So we'll be at the em Emmitsburg High School Auditorium. Okay. And um, tickets will also be sold at the door. And can you get mm -hmm. your, to your tickets in advance? You can get them in advance from, you can get it from the hospital reception desk and... Um, also from the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, and the hospital's been very instrumental in helping you bring um, the Blema Group with you to, uh, to the community, right? Yes, the hospital has been an instrumental support from day one to <laughs> now. So they've been behind me all the way. So, yeah. Well, we thank them for that. We we'll thank them for bringing you to the community. Mm. Uh, anything else you want to add now about the performance that's coming up? I'd just like to add that this is an opportunity that everyone will really be thrilled about and really be happy that they made it to the um, shows because it's, I don't think there's anything like it in the Midwest area and I'm sure most people have not experienced this kind of talent um, prior to this. So I think this will be a wonderful opportunity, bring the kids out and it'll be a learning experience for them and an eye opener. Wonderful. So that's why we brought it. Very exciting. And with the Arts Council, we, you know, these are things that the Arts Council is very, um, they try to bring different things to our area so we can experience different things too. So um, anyway, we want to thank you for being here today. Thank we you. We want to welcome you to the community of Emmitsburg. Thank you. And we want to um, ask you if, uh, to take a look at your schedule and see if on um, the weekend of August uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th, if you wouldn't have time to come out and enjoy the Blima Dance Company. And thank you for joining us today. Chamber Chat has been brought to you by Mansimus Pharmacy, where your care is their only concern. This has been Chamber Chat on Chamber Channel 3. Chamber Chat has been brought to you by Mansmith Pharmacy.